They went from worst to first. Now John Farrell is coming out to talk with the home plate umpire, Jerry Davis. See, once again here, the Yankees, like a lot of teams, are shifting in the middle of an at-bat. After two strikes, Kelly Johnson went from third base to play the shift over and right. I think they're going to check Pineda. Remember, against the Red Sox, he had what looked like pine tar in his hand. Later said it was dirt, but Farrell was going out to check Pineda. Now they're checking his back. And they're throwing him out of the game. He went to his neck and he said there's something on his neck, so Pineda is being tossed. Now Farrell did not check it last time when Clay Buckholtz was the op opposite of the opposing pitcher. This time he does, and Pineda gets thrown out of the game. So it was on the side of his neck. It wasn't on his hand that time. And Jerry Davis checked it out and said, you're gone. Well, that's the rule. And I uh, have to go on a rant here, but it's the rule. And it's, it's illegal. You break the rule. You're not supposed to have any foreign substance if you do. But, you know, my position on that has been that I think the reason why Michael the reluctance of a John Farrell or anybody else is that many pitchers use something periodically through their career I'm not saying every game to get a better grip and I still don't understand that rule as to why that's a bad thing for a pitcher to have a better grip we're not talking about altering the flight or the integrity of a pitch based on something that will enable a pitcher to have the ball slip out of his hand thus a, a grease pitch or a spitball. Yeah, that's why there's a rosin bag. Rosin bag is useless. Mike, David, I don't know if you used it. In, in cold weather, it's powder. So you, you have a rosin bag on the mound to help a guy get a better grip. But yet, you're not supposed to have a better grip. Well, you started off what you said by saying it's against the Bruce and Yelich comes up. Talking with Dan Jennings about him prior to the game today. He said, look, this is the first adversity this kid has ever faced as a player. Skyrocketed through the minors after dominating as a high school player. Early draft pick. Had a good season last year as a rookie. But hitting just 178 coming into this one. Dan Jennings out there asking Jordan Baker to go down and talk with the crew chief Paul Emmel about something. Oh boy. Is he calling out a substance on Brian Mattis's arm? Like we saw Will Smith thrown out for a couple of days ago in Milwaukee. Like we saw Michael Pineda suspended for last year in New York. Buck Showalter comes to see. Well, it was interesting because I saw Dan Jennings go talk to the hitting coach for the Marlins, Frankie Benakino. They had obviously seen something out on the mound. I think the discussion was more or less, should we say something? Is that some sort of substance? And obviously, with the quick two outs, Dan Jennings took it upon himself to bring it to the attention of the umpire. It's going to be an awkward conversation. He's been thrown out of the game. Brian Mattis becomes the second big league pitcher this week to get thrown out of a game for a foreign substance on his arm. Mattis thrown out in a scoreless game in the 12th. You know, the left handed bats in this Atlanta Braves lineup. Not sure what this is all about. Freddie Gonzalez. 
to the home plate umpire Chris Siegel and now he's going to bring in the crew chief Jim Joyce. This is a curious development here. The home plate umpire is asking Jim Joyce something. And Jim Joyce is directing his attention to Will Smith. Checking his glove and he's been thrown out. Will Smith has been ejected. A foreign substance on the glove. It's a little bit cold, windy, like it is tonight. I mean, pitchers will sometimes get some pine tar and use it. It is illegal, but you know it happens all the time. And Freddie Gonzalez goes out there and asks the umpires to check it out, and it didn't take Jim Joyce long to throw him out. Well, you remember the World Series, the 06 World Series with Detroit and St. Louis, and the Kenny Rogers. With a foreign substance on his hat. And then, of course, maybe the most notable recently was Michael Pineda of the Yankees a couple of years ago, had it on his neck. Yeah, right there on his arm. I thought it was on his glove, but. All right. Jim Joyce went right to the wrist, felt the foreign stuff substance, and that's an automatic ejection. Now we're going to get a pinch hitter. It's going to be Lombardozzi to pinch hit. Gonzalez, Kim Sheeta going over the lineup card. And, uh, Joe Madden here. And uh, we have a little conversation going on about uh, Peralta. And maybe this might, I wonder if this could be a uniform issue of something or another. Dave Johnson came out and wanted, uh, oh, they're going to examine his glove. How about that? Look at his glove. So Dave Johnson knew something or thought he knew something. And uh, see what we have going here. This is uh, starting to be uh, a little longer than uh, you would think the Rays would would like here. And they, what are they going to impound the glove? It's going with the broken bats. The study. Well, this is pretty interesting here. Very much so. Like they're going to take it and, and have one of those uh, where you go through the airport and they swab it. Well, see what kind of uh, substance it, it is. You know, Peralta in 2010 spent a part of the year here with Washington. And uh, so Dave, Davey Johnson came out to challenge. Peralta and uh, a piece of his equipment, the glove, and they've confiscated the glove at this point. Yeah, that's uh, that's not a good sign because that means they found something. And they're not taking it. And you know, there's some action in the uh, bullpen, some stirring out there in the bullpen, and and I think they've uh, they've ejected Peralta. Peralta is not going to be allowed to pitch here. So, if it's uh, gamesmanship, it's certainly very effective gamesmanship. And in this case, it would seem that uh, somebody with Washington uh, either knew something or thought they knew something. In any case, Peralta and his glove. Are gone, and the Rays make a call to the bullpen. Brought to you by Metro PCS Wireless for All. 
You're going to make a decision in a hurry, but you want to make sure that you zone that 3 0 pitch to your liking. Well, especially because the first three pitches by Matthews were missed so badly. BJ oh, Upton's due, and uh, now the Rays want the Matthews glove checked. Jimmy Johnson out there. So they've. Uh, Back and forth there on the glove checks. And that's the kind of thing that uh, does create some friction. Oh yeah, you can feel it. You can feel it right now. You can chew on some glass right now. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's gone. And now the Royals have the one-run lead. George Brett has just homered, and Billy Martin and the Yankees want the bat. Look at Martin. Well, what they're talking about, Frank, is that he's got too much pine tar, and uh, you've got to have a certain amount of distance from the trademark of the bat and the pine tar. And Nettles is leaving the field as if the game is over. No, he's just coming in. I'm not sure. Uh, they might have a legitimate uh, gripe, and the umpires are going to get together. George Brett looking around and wanting to know what's going on, and the umpires are going to get together and talk about this thing. Well, Billy Martin bounced right out I've, of the dugout. I've seen it called before, Frank. You are not allowed to have a substance of any of any kind above the trademark and I can't tell from here because everybody's huddled around the bat I cannot tell from here if it's uh, up too far and now they're both they're off they're feeling it see as if there's a, some sticky stuff around there that's Nick Bremigan with the this bat, is right? going to be an interesting call well Brett isn't sure whether he has a home run yet or not Now the umpires are going to walk away and talk about this and go over the rules and examine the bat. See where the pine tar, see the label, the trademark is. Yep. See the brown substance there? It does look that's, like that's, it's a bat. That's pine tar. It looks like it is. Now you are not allowed to have that pine tar up that far on the bat. Billy Martin walking around uh, waiting for the, uh, which might be an important decision. First time in a long, long Let's time see. I've seen the umpires huddle this long and have a meeting over it. Well, they're going to see what's going to happen. They're going to. Now that is the plate umpire, Tim McClellan, with the bat in his hand. Now they're going to measure it across home plate. Well, I, I've never, I've never seen this. I never have either. I don't know what I don't know what they're measuring. They might be going to call George Brett out. Well, he yeah. is. He's out. Yes, sir. Brett is out. Look at look at this. Brett is out. And He's steaming mad. He is out and having to be forcibly restrained from hitting plate umpire Tim McClellan. And the Yankees have won the ball game four to three. Brett is called out for using an illegal bat or with the illegal substance on the bat. Like I said, I have seen this before, Frank, and uh, Gaylord Perry just took the bat away from home plate umpire Jim McClellan. He's going to take the bat. They're going to take it so they cannot take it into the American League office or wherever they take it to be examined. Well, a Yankee security uh, person and uh, one of the umpires quickly are chasing whoever has the bat. Jose Martinez is holding Brett. Bobby, I've never seen this in my life. Well, I've seen players uh, called out for using an, an illegal bat, uh, but never, never saw an important hit by a home run and then been called out to put the Royals ahead. George Brett was fighting mad, and uh, whether he has a cause to be mad or not, I don't have any idea. Uh, the umpires made a decision. Bobby, let me say this to you. The fact that they tried to take the bat away and secrete the bat lends credence to the umpire's call in my estimation.